Princess Diana's former butler has hit back at claims made by Prince Harry about his sister, in Law Kate's engagement ring. The striking sapphire and diamond ring formerly belonged to Diana but is now worn by the current Princess of Wales after being given to her by husband Prince William. It was believed that following Diana's untimely death, William chose to keep Diana's Cartier watch while Harry picked her engagement ring. And as William became engaged to Kate in 2010, long before Harry met wife Meghan Markle, it was said they later swapped the pieces of jewelry. However, in his controversial memoir Spare, Harry reckons this was absolutely rubbish, writing, I never gave Willie that ring because it wasn't mine to give. He already had it. Head asked for it after Mummy died, and had been more than happy to let it go. But speaking to the mirror, Paul Burrell, who served both Diana and the late Queen, poured cold water on Harry's claims, saying he watched her. Sons picked the pieces of jewelry they wanted to keep after her death. He explained, Harry said to me, I always remember holding Mummy's hand and that ring hurting me because it was so big. And that's why, when the boys came to Kensington Palace, I said to them, you must take something of your mother's, you must take something to remind yourself of your time here at Kensington Palace and your mother's life. So William piped up it like the Cartier tank watch, which Grandpa Spencer gave her for her 21st birthday because I remember Mummy wearing that, keeping the time. Harry said, well, can I have Mummy's engagement ring? because that's the ring I remember from my childhood. So the boys went away with two very different prizes from their mother's life. Ironically, of course, when William became engaged to Kate, some deal must have been done behind the scenes because Harry had the ring so Harry obviously gave up his treasure to his brother so that it could be on the ring finger of his wife who would one day be queen. When asked if William happily agreed to Harry keeping the ring at first, Paul added, William was happy with the arrangement. William is not materialistic, so he didn't look for the flashiest jewel in Mummy's collection. He didn't. What they chose were the two very simple things really a ring and a watch. Not fantastic jewels. But they meant something to the boys. His comments come as he prepares for his first operation later this month after being diagnosed with prostate cancer. And Paul said his illness has left him contemplating several private moments with the late Princess of Wales where she confided in him during her darkest days. Speaking from the immaculate home he shares with husband Graham Cooper and Tar Porley, Cheshire, he said, My illness has focused my attention on telling the boys things before it's too late, telling them what they really should know. I know some of it isn't pretty, but if I leave this place and go somewhere else they'll never know. I think they should know. And as he focuses on the battle ahead Paul said his focus would be to raise awareness of the disease while vowing to try and do my bit to mend the bitter rift between Diana's beloved boys. He said, wouldn't it be wonderful to see the boys repair their relationship and to be back where they should be back. The public would love that. It'd applaud that. It'd love to see William put his arm around his brother, but I don't think we're going to see that because there are too many obstacles in the way. Paul Burrell did not receive payment for this interview.